girls, I'm Miss Annie, and I'm here to talk with you about the lesson today. But first, let's pray. So bow your heads, close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for my friends who are here today. Help us to know that you are good and help us to listen as we should. In Jesus' name, amen. Awesome job. So today, our lesson is from my favorite book. Do you remember what it was? I have it with me. It's right here. It's what is this? It's the Bible. Great job. Bible words are always true. Can you say that with me? I want to hear you. Bible words are always true. Great job. So today our Bible story is from Luke chapter four, and we get to read about Jesus teaching. Are you ready? Here we go. So Jesus went back to the place where he had grown up and he went to the synagogue to worship God. And while he was at the synagogue, he stood up and he got the scroll of Isaiah and he started to read from Isaiah. And it said, the spirit of God is on me because he has chosen me to preach the good news, to set people free, and to help the people that are hurting. And when Jesus was done saying God's message, he put the scroll down and he went and sat back down. Everyone was watching Jesus. Can you do that with me? Was watching Jesus. And Jesus said, all of those words written a long time ago. Can you do that with me? They were written a long time ago came true today. Wow. So that means that all those words written a long time ago were about Jesus and they came true because of Jesus. Wow. But people in the crowd were like, we remember you, Jesus. You grew up here. We remember you, Jesus, when you were just a little boy. We remember you, Jesus, when you grew up. We know you, Jesus. We remember. So when Jesus said that God had chosen him and had made help, um, had chosen him to preach the good news and to set people free and to help the people that are hurting, it made him sound better than the people, more important than the other people, which made the people there mad. Can you show me your mad face? mad. Oh, they were mad at him because he was saying he was more important than they were. So how can Jesus say that he's more important than those people? Well, he is God's son and that's what the Bible tells us. And Bible words are always true. So let's ask our questions for the day. You ready? Here we go. Get your hands ready. What do we know about God? We know that God sent Jesus so that we could know God. And what do we know about Jesus? From this story, we know that Jesus loves everyone and that Jesus is important because he is God's son. Awesome job today. Are you ready to sing? <music> God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. John 3, 16. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world. In his hands, he's got the whole world. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, mother. In his hands, he's got you and me, mother. In his hands, he's got you and me, mother. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, Father. In his hands, he's got you and me, Father. In his hands, he's got you and me, Father. In his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, Sister. 
In his hands he's got you and me, sister. In his hands he's got you and me, sister. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother. In his hands he's got you and me, brother. In his hands he's got you and me, brother. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the itty bitty baby. In his hands he's got the itty bitty baby. In his hands he's got the itty bitty baby. In his hands he's got the whole world in his hands. to read stories from the Bible before they had books like we do. And they look like this. Jesus took the scroll and he read to everyone God's word. This is what he read. God has chosen me to preach the good news, to set people free and to help the hurting. So grab some friends and set them up so that they can watch you. And then you can tell them, just like Jesus told everyone in the synagogue, that Jesus is God's son. Let's practice that first. Say it with me three times. Ready? Let's stand up. Here we go. Jesus is God's son. Great job. Keep doing it with me. Let's spend two times before we say it the second time. Here we go. One, two, and we say Jesus is God's son. Now march with me to the count of three. One, two, three, and now say it together. Jesus is God's son. Oh, great job, you guys. Now, go grab some friends and your Bible, and you can tell them that Jesus is God's son. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.